tell you, it's incredibly meaningful for me. And although I've written other books, I feel like I poured so much, Jim, into this one. Mm -hmm. And it's tales of both failure and lessons I've learned from those in what is now like 30 years of leadership, uh, 20-something at the executive level. And, and also having run human capital businesses over the last many years, where all of a sudden I got paid for something I was so passionate about, which is around right. leadership and culture. And so in this book, I talk about what being a whole human leader is, which I think today's workforce demands more than ever. The workforce I entered into of command and control is why we started to hear things like the great resignation or quiet quitting. And so there's an expectation to do better, to be dif um, different and be better as a leader. And so authenticity and vulnerability, the way in which we communicate with our teams, seeing the unseen employee, all of those things are what I talk about in the book. There's so much of the whole human leader that existed, but I didn't let it be seen. I wore a mask because I was a young female leader, you know, the only, the youngest, all those things. And so I needed to evolve um, to be the kind of leader I would want to follow. And I, I actually hate kind of the genderization, I don't even know if that's a word, of traits. And what is seen as positive oftentimes in men and described one way is seen as a negative for, for women. I started to see an improvement, which was great. And to your point, these last couple of years, and sadly, I think a lot has to do with the politics and language that's been allowed by some of our top leaders. Um, not just allowed, used by. Um, right. We started to, you know, hear a little bit more of that. Again. What motivates you to get up every morning? Uh, I'm, I'm driven to be like a better version of myself every day, and that means on all facets of my life, in terms of from a career standpoint, you know, as a partner and a, as a mother, as a friend, as a community member, and so, and I'm very competitive. So with myself, I am my worst critic. You know, I don't do things that don't bring me joy. 80-20 uh, rule, 80-20. There's always a 20% of stuff you just got to get done. Oh, oh, that's a good one. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm torn because I kind of have two favorites. 